Good morning, comrade subscribers. It's a Tuesday morning. Yeah, getting through the week. Uh, I think today I will replace the electrolytics on the main board here. I'll give the keyboard a good clean, so uh, pull all the keys off, wash them, and also give the keyboard a, a good clean as well. I will also thanks to Ghost Hunter for all the tips. So I'll set up the dip switches on the Coco SD, but so it's a very nice case, but I'm gonna to have to pull it apart to get to the jumper. And I was hoping to use this on both my Coco 2 and, I assume this runs on the Coco 2? Where have I put my Coco 2? Coco 2, I'll put away until I get that replacement transformer. Oh well, I won't worry about it for now. So I'll give that a try and we'll also, I'll give the top case a good clean, replace replace the sticker. It's a bit old, and it's, uh, so give the top case a clean. And also take a look at the second um, Dragon 32 I've got, see if it works. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Um, well, I'm gonna start cleaning here first. Mm. Bit of yawn, so keyboard's nice and clean. So are the keys, so I'll put all that back together. Then I'll um, replace the electrolytics on the main board. And then um, go from there. Keyboard is done, looking very much nicer. Um, very similar to the Atari 800 keyboard, actually. It's the same company, um, high tech. So anyway, right. Uh, let's do this board. So this is an issue for our power supply board. And this is an issue five motherboard. Let's pull that out. Let's connect those. And have a look at replacing. So it looks like we've got. Um, so here's the. Let's have a look. So that's the main CPU there, the 6809. And what have we got over here? So this is a, this is a large 74LS. So 74LS 783. So this is a um, an address multiplexer, I think. We've got all the RAM up here. So this is a 32K machine. So we've got 16 RAM chips, 4116, I assume 2K each. And what else do we got? Um, MC6847, so this is the video display generator, the VDG. Um, same as in the uh, the Coco and um, other, <laughs> other designs, I guess, based on this. And then we've got two uh, peripheral um, interface adapters MC6821. Uh, so I think this one is obviously for the keyboard and maybe for this peripheral I.O. And I, I assume this one up here is for the cartridge port. So there we go, issue five board. Um, let's go around and just um, I don't know, replace these old electrolytics. Okay, I've replaced the electrolytics. Yeah, probably I should replace the tantalums as well, shouldn't I? Never really had an issue with them. Maybe later, I don't know. So I've still got these other ones here to replace. So I'm going to put this one all back together. It's all still working. And um, I just need to sort out the top case and then we'll try the second uh, Dragon 32. Okay, so there we go. Nice keyboard. Managed to put all the screws back to where they came from. Um, none left over, and which is good. So I gave the top case just a, a scrub with cream cleanser. I took off the old label. I've got two new ones here. Let's see how I go. Um, Got these a while ago.
The other one was, um, there we go. The other one was uh, papery and didn't come off too well, but there we go. It's, yeah, not a very good label to start with, so. All right, so that's the top case. Oh, okay, yeah, the only other thing I need to do is just um, glue that post back on, which I have glue for upstairs. So I'll do that, and then we'll be able to check out the, um, the second data, uh, Dragon 32. Right, first one's done. Let's have a look at the second one. Now I've got, this, this is a Atomic Sinclair 1500 from the US. Um, got it out because it's basically, well, you can tell what it looks like. It's a ZX Spectrum case, basically. So this is a, um, a ZX81 or it's a TS1000 with 16K of RAM in a ZX case. So go figure. Um, yeah, anyway, the idea was I just thought it would be interesting to compare the design philosophies <laughs> between Sinclair and Dragon Data. But first of all, yeah, so I want to check if this works anyway, but I'll uh, open her up first. So this one's got a bit more yellowing, which you can tell there. Anyway, let's open her up and have a look inside. And it's the four screws done. So you may notice actually, oh, if I may, these um you know these anti tamper stickers they've got one for each um screw except for that. <laughs> that one's missing and you can actually buy new ones someone has made new ones um in the uk obviously uh you say so buy a new set for three pounds unfortunately um they're using ebay's global shipping program so they're asking 60 australian dollars for um, four stickers to, to ship four stickers to Australia. And what's worse is the Jerry Harvey tax, the 10% GST that they add on top, because that applies to the item price plus shipping. The the tax turns out to co to be more than what the stickers are actually worth. It's well, I've sent them an email saying, um, do you realize? And they said, oh yes, 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 but I've been ripped off because of people saying things haven't arrived and stuff, you know, sending as normal letter. I'm thinking, well, you're certainly not going to get any business that way. There's, there's no point. Why even bother? Just say you're not going to ship overseas. Or, I don't know, this is a wild idea. Maybe send it as a trapped letter. I don't know. But maybe, maybe that's too much effort in the UK, especially after Brexit. What a fucking mess that is. Um, yeah, so maybe that's, you know, for, for three pounds worth of stickers, maybe sending it tracks too much effort. Right, okay. Ooh. So the last, last machine, or well, the first machine I should say we looked at, um, was an issue four power supply and an issue five, Mark II issue five main board. And, okay, so I can see differences already, slight differences. Um, the fuck is that? Okay, I don't care. Well, okay, for, well, oh, okay. So this is an issue six. So it looks like this is an issue six power board. Okay, so for, for a start, the, um, the UHF is smaller. And see, I'm wondering about the, the 7905. Um, they don't have it tied down to the heatsink, yet they just kind of have it kind of just sitting there. So to, to me, it, it makes me think that they don't want, you know, this isn't ground, for example. So they don't want it touching ground, but it's a bit, you know, it's a bit dodgy. Anyway, um... I can't see anything too obvious on the power supply board. Well, I'll have to get it out. But apart from the modulator being smaller, um, we've got a different color plug here. Same lot of memory here. Two lots of, uh, 16 lots of 2K, I guess. 
the um, this chip here is ceramic in the other one it was a um, it was a Texas Instruments chip and yeah and it didn't have Dragon data this and this one didn't have Dragon data written on it either um, just saying nothing else really stands out but let me pull this apart well okay well okay it look, looks okay so let's just see if it works for a start um, nothing else I'm just trying to see if I can see well, so this is a mark 2 board but we're okay it's issue 5 so it's an issue 5 as well so the main board is the same power supply is is a newer newer design so I yeah, plug that in oh it's a bit dodgy it's a bit the DE9 socket's a bit loose. You have to pull the board out to maybe tighten that up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Tantalum. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. The uh, tantalum went so that's why i wanted to open it up to have a look at it before i uh applied power um. oh, she's a goner all right Shall we apply power again and see what else we can uh, smoke out? Mm. Hmm. So, yeah. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you too seasick doing that. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to replace that tantalum at least. If I can see what it was. That's right. The whole reason why I got the machine, the TS-1500 out. Just to compare the <laughs> design. So, the 1500 goes in there. And um, there's still <laughs> loads of space to close the machine up. So it just shows you the difference in design philosophies between the two machines. Anyway, maybe they need the space to let the tantalum smoke dissipate. Right, let's disconnect the power. There's an extra capacitor on there. Hmm, all right. Let me disconnect everything. What's that? And um, we'll have a look. Okay, I've removed uh, the offending tantalum. 4.7 microfarads. And also the electrolytic and ceramic that were next to it. So I'll just replace um, all three of them. So that's just 100 nano and uh, 10 micro. So yeah, hopefully I've, I've got, I do have a box of um, tantalums. So hopefully I've got a 4.7 micro. Yeah. So. Um... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so yes, I guess um, no doubt someone's going to say in the comments, oh yes, 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 dragons are known for tantalums blowing up. You should always replace them. Um, so yes, I think I will be going through my uh, going through these boards and replacing. I'd love to get rid. of I hate ceramic disc capacitors. These are ugly, but uh, they'll be a pain in the ass to remove them all. But anyway, yeah, definitely tantalums, I guess. Okay, looks like I should be right. Uh, Four point seven should be in here somewhere. One of these, I guess. I had to buy this from China because, of course, local J car doesn't <laughs> didn't have what I needed. Um, which one was the tantalum again? C11, wasn't it? 
And remember, the easy way to tell, that's 475, is the longest leg is always positive. So that what goes in C11. There. And then we've got our ceramic. So yeah, I'd just love to replace all those ceramic discs with um, with these little fellas. Because I just like, you know, the board to the board to look nice, and this doesn't look nice. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, and then ten micro. Which one shall we use? Ten micro. Use that one. Or shall we use a blue one? What's this one? That's thirty-five volts as well. Should we go blick or blue? I think I'll go blick. So again, longest leg is positive. I should probably really replace that tantalum while I'm next to it, isn't it? That's also 4.7k. What do you reckon? Should I replace it while I'm there and then I will might as well yeah, I might as well replace it. <laughs> well that looks okay. Let's get the let's just see, change these three and then see what happens. So I'll be back. Right, that replaced. So I think what I'll do also is just test the power supply first, is just to make sure it's output putting the right voltages. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, did I show you a close up of the board? Let's have a look. So, oh, I should compare it, shouldn't I? So, I get, I'm guessing they're ROMs 1011, maybe 8k each, all that because it says 16k basic. I don't know. Um, but everything else is the same. Was that socketed before? I don't know. But it's the same. So you can do a 64K upgrade. Um, I think it might be more difficult on this one. Because it's got 16 instead of 8 or something. I don't know. Uh, where's my other machine? Let me get my other machine. Hmm. Actually, this is also... So yeah, so that's, that's the ROMs in that one. And in the original one I was working on... We've got a Texas Instrument and a no name. <laughs> But I've just noticed something else um, different. So even though these are both Mark II issue five boards, um, this one, this the second one I'm working on, if I look down at the original one, we've got these bodge, bodge resistors there off the VDG, video display processor. Um, We've got a capacitor there, and we've got one there. Oh, huh. yeah, one, two. Oh no, okay, so that one's there, but C28. Oh no, that one's there, no. Okay, so we've just got these two, which we don't have up here. So, yeah, I don't know what that was done. I don't know, maybe this was some home hack. I don't know. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I have to check out what they do. Hmm. All right. No, I was just... Anyway, whatever. All right, let's um, let's check this power supply. No, this is the working one. Let's uh, check this one's power supply and um, then see if it works. Um, yeah, okay, one more thing. I'm, I'm wondering if this has been hacked, so just to give maybe, I don't know, just, um, I don't know, opposite out. Because the, the um, modulator can on the issue four board has got four wires coming into it. Whereas this has just got basically signal and ground. 
Anyway, interesting. All right, so we should have these four here. Uh, the voltages, ground, and then plus, minus 5 volts and 12 volts. So let me hook it up again. Disconnected. And see if we're getting the right voltages for a start. Okay, let's see. So, one, two, three, four. That should be ground. Go back to A at DC voltage. That's 11.7, so that should be 12 volts. That's 4.9, so that'll be the 5 volts. And... That's minus five volts. Okay, so the voltages look all right, or well, under no load. So let's power it off, plug her in, and let's plug the monitor in as well. Let's see if we get any outputs. Okay, wearing glasses. Right, power on. Hmm. It's working. The image is a bit crap. Yeah, that's a terrible image compared to um compared to the issue four board. Yeah, I'm not very impressed by that. So it's working. Um Hmm. I wonder if I um, need to make those mods on the uh, on the VDG like the other boards got. Hmm. All right. Well, it's, it is working as it is. Uh, I might just leave it running for a bit, see what else blows, and um, I'll have a look on. I'll have a look at the data sheet for the VDG just to see what those um, what those pins are for. Alright, so yeah, I've um, got the data sheet. So this is the video output from the second one. Maybe it is okay. There's just like lots of gel bars. Um, but maybe that is... Maybe that is okay. So... What's the chip beside it? Um, it is SFC 2318DC. 2318DC 252. 2318DC. So pin 10, which is 5B. How do you say, which is the BY? Which is is that uh, blue luma? Let me zoom out. So it's pin ten has got that resistor on it, which is this one here, BY. Blue and is it, uh, Y is luma. Is it Y luma? Anyway. So yeah, so that's the output of this machine. Let me switch quickly over. To the other machine and we'll compare okay so all right so the difference really is that the border the border here is greenish whereas the other one is kind of bluish or darkish what color should it be I'm guessing that I'm I actually like the other one now because <laughs> this one is um, there's more definition between the border and that but yeah so it's been sold on. So what is it? It looks like is it brown? What is it? Brown, green, orange. Brown, green, orange. So that is one. Is it six? And is it four? Is that right? Brown, green, orange. Let me uh, work that out quickly. It's off by one. One, five, one, two, three. 15K? Is it 15K? Because black's obviously zero. So I'm counting on my fingers 
BB, but of course black's zero, so I shouldn't be counting black at all. So I should be starting with brown on my thumb. Brown, one. So orange is three, yeah, and, and then yeah, green is five. Um, yeah, uh, my ma uh, my dad taught me a mnemonic to remember it. Um, probably some of you <laughs> older guys probably know it. That's why I'm not saying it out loud. <laughs> it's a bit um, not really appropriate for this day and age. So yeah, so that's is that a 15k? 15k resistor going from pin 10 to because you know if I just worked all this out earlier now there how's that if I just worked it all out offline I'm trying to work it out in real time so that's going to let's power this off so I don't blow something up yeah, that's a bit better. That's going to... So there's also this additional one which has come off there. So... Is it? Yeah. Going to pin four. That's... Actually, that's called something different. Yeah, just... Alright, so this is called a... T5... Hmm? 2318 DC. And what's this one? This is a CA3100E. Hmm, interesting. But in both cases, it's IC10. Um, is it CA3100E? Alright, pin 1, 2, 3, 4. Pin 4. All right, let's figure that out. All right, so yeah, that's just an op amp, that one there, and which is the V minus. So that's the V minus for this op amp going to, oh yeah, it does, definitely does look after market. You can see a, a burn, a melt mark from a soldering iron. So I wonder if I should put this in the other machine as well. And then we've got this one here. As well, what's that? Blue, is that blue, grey, red? Oh, it's blue. So that's six. Um, grey. That's eight. What is that? Six, eight. And then what's red? Two. Six eight six one eight K? No. Uh six eight zero zero. Six one eight K. Yeah. Hmm. Attached to that one there. So there's probably something already on the internet about that. So I might have to look it up. One other thing I know is interesting about this. Um I should do this more often, have it. I, I do actually have um I just got a GoPro Hero eleven. I'm going to get the tax back on. So I might try and do more um, top down, vertical, like this. This might be more worthwhile. But I just noticed on here, there's actually four inputs to the modulator. So that I thought was interesting. Anyway, I think that's enough. I've been rambling for a while. God, how long how long this is going to be. Um, yeah, so both machines work. Might need to look at the tantalums. This one I haven't replaced, but it seems to be working okay. Might run it for a few hours just to see what, what issues crop up. Still want to replace these capacitors. Uh, I've only got one power supply, so... Well, we're doing that. Uh, so I need to figure out some way of powering it. So I'm thinking 15 volt amp toroid and get rid of all this or getting rid of all this and just putting a mean well in there. Which I, hang on, let me have a look. So I've got a few different types. See, that would actually fit quite nicely. 
It would fit quite nicely in there. If I just rip out all those components, then that would almost fit in there quite nicely and I just have mains coming in. So that's if I wanted to use a mean well. Or if I wanted to use a toroid, what have I got here? Nine volts, oh here's a 15 volt. So if I replace these with linear switching regulators, then I can um, just use a single 15 volt amp power supply. So I just stick that into a, a metal case, 15 volt, volt, uh, 15 volt AC coming in, and we're getting our 5 volts, uh, 12 volts, and our minus 5 volts um, all from that one power supply. So I'd probably, so I want to sell one of these, so I'd probably do that for my own one, and I'd sell the original power supply with the, with the unmodified one. Something to think about. All right, that's way, way too much for tonight. Um, I hope some of that was useful, and I will see you later. Bye.